Hi, Ajay. How are you? Very well, thanks. Okay, so, so where have you been traveling? To? So where have you been traveling to lately? <laughs> well, um, Le, Turkey, Greece, Kodaikanal, okay. and so many other places. Wow. What was the What was the latest? The re- most recent trip? Kodaikanal, Uti, and Kunur. Wow. So and uh, were you Were you just driving around? Yes. We started from um, uh, Uti, then we went okay. to Kunur, and then Kodaikanal. It was yeah, It was a road trip. So where okay. have you been? Have you been traveling? Yeah, so the last week of uh, June, I went to Madhya Pradesh, and I did the okay. wildlife circuit. Hmm. So I did I did the wildlife circuit. I went to uh, Panna, Bandavgarh, Kana, and Penj. So and uh, so that, that that's from sorry. Did you happen to see tigers? Yeah, we saw a few tigers and many more animals, and uh, we got pre monsoon showers, so the forests were beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. So so I think we have a lot of uh, ladies online. And uh, I think uh, you, I guess you would agree. Of course, you've been traveling a lot, but I guess a lot of ladies would agree that uh, traveling for ladies is a challenge because they're always working, whether they're working at home or whether they are uh, working in office or both. And Ajay? I don't, I don't want to sound stereotypical. Ajay, yeah. sorry for interrupting, but before we begin this discussion, can we give an introduction, a little bit of introduction about ourselves? Why don't we start with with you? We start with you. Okay, so. Uh, uh, as you know, I'm primarily a travel writer and a photographer. That's what I do. And I blog at uh, kunzum.com. And I also run the, Kun- the Kunzum Travel Cafe in Hoskas Village, which is uh, which we really call the face-to-face book of travel. That's where our guests hang around. Uh, they, uh, they have coffee. We have travel conversations. We have travel books. And we have a lot of travel events. Uh, so that's, uh, that's what I do. So I just travel. I do my writing. I do my photography. And I run a social community around it. And, well, and tell me about your venture, uh, Shireen. Um, so uh, my venture is called, uh, the travel venture is called Women on Clouds. Um, so we've added a little bit of uh, uh, another name to it. It's called a club now, Women on Clouds Club. So okay. we are basically a travel club uh, and a meetup club for women only. So we organize trips, uh, various kinds of trips, like uh, weekend, weekend getaways, domestic leisure tr- uh, trips, international trips trekking tours, adventure tours, specialized tours, only and only for women in India and outside as well. So the concept is, the idea is that, you know, for women, especially what we're discussing here today, it's difficult to take out time and, you know, uh, or, uh, you know, coordinate with their family and friends to take a holiday. We provide that platform where you can take a break in a safe environment, you can travel in a group, and you do not have to depend on anyone to take a holiday. So our trips are escorted, they're well-planned, thought thought of completely and everything is all inclusive so anybody who joins doesn't have to think of anything else they have to make their own book ticket booking themselves or book the hotels themselves they just have to pay up and sign so that's what we do okay and uh, and how's been the response from working women um wonderful actually um, okay. In fact, since when since we've started, it was always the professional working women who uh, always joined our trips. It's only recently, since the past one year, that we've had uh, homemakers also take trips. So okay. it's always always been initially always been working women professionals, entrepreneurs uh, who've taken our trips. Okay, so uh, yeah. I get a lot of uh, I'm sure even you do, but I get a lot of queries uh, from people, both uh, uh, men and women, as to how mm-hmm. to take out time for travel. And yes. I have a few tips uh, to share. Uh, should I start with those? Please. Yeah. So one of the things I say is, uh, you know, travel starts local. And uh, especially in India, we live in a country where uh, most of our cities uh, have a lot to offer if you decide to go local travel, right? I so, agree. and people don't, people take their own cities for granted. But let's face it, most Indian cities have so much to offer in terms of tradition, culture, history. Uh, even modernity and uh, uh, and and within a few hours of most most cities in the country there is always something to see so one can actually go, go out in the evenings go out on weekend mornings we can take a day trip there's so much to do and uh, and I, I do that a lot because and uh, I could go out for a few hours to old Delhi uh, and uh, I feel that I feel transported so for those few hours I could be in um, I could be in Spiti or I could be in old Delhi I'm just transported from all my worries, and I'm I am I get into the travel mode. So that's one thing. Uh, so I think, and that also kind of inculcates uh, uh, a kind of a uh, uh, you know in your DNA, it gets inculcates a, a travel attitude. So you start traveling local, and uh, the second tip I always give is your weekends are your own. 
one can so easily take a weekend off right you know again if you tell yourself once a month i'm going to go off saturday morning and come back sunday evening and uh, i think you, uh, one can cover a lot of ground there and that holds true for any person whether you want to go solo or whether you want to go with the rest of the family if you want to go with friends it's totally your call right and um, and and thirdly i say i always maintain that uh, you know sometimes you might crave about the large indian family but that's also an asset you can always leave your kids with the uh, with grandparents or uncles and aunts and everybody is like a willing uh, babysitter and uh, if need be even leave your husband there you know and just and just go off i think yeah. uh, i think i think husbands uh, should be you know uh, trained to be babysitters and women should go off i think men men need to do that bit i hope you guys is listening in <laughs> no no i always maintain this and uh, and, the, and the first thing that a husband needs to learn is how to change nappies <laughs> i agree that's true um you know my thoughts on this are that first and foremost um you know women multitask we are very good yeah. at multitasking we um, handle multiple roles at one time and we're pretty good at it we do get frustrated from time to time because we get overwhelmed by a lot of things but we are actually very good at multitasking uh the issue with women not taking out time for travel is that travel has never been it's not a, it's not a priority for them you know the, the, in, in the sense they want to travel there's a wish to travel there's a wish list you want to go but everything else takes priority your children take priority your husband's husband takes priority work like you just mentioned some type of a maid issue if anything and everything takes priority over travel so if you first of all have to generate a mindset that you need to take out like you said your weekends are your own you have to take out time for yourself whether you said you travel locally or you take a short tour for 3 days 4 days if you have first generator a travel mindset that you want to take a break for yourself and it's not even just a priority it's a necessity for yourself to just like you said get lost to refresh to rejuvenate and come back i believe that and secondly um you know it is an issue especially with uh, indian working uh, indian indian women in india because the caste social culture is such that uh, there is too much expectation out of us so um whether you're in, you're in, a, in, a, in a nuclear family or you're in a, a joint family there there are a lot of expectations so it it is uh, they can't help it but not give uh, uh, travel a priority but it has to be first you know it has to be a part of your your you know your monthly routine or, or let's say three months three months you decide to take a uh, trip or something it has to be part of your agenda that you have to have to do it what do you think about it yeah i i totally agree because i think uh, it's a it's a two step process one uh, you have to change your own mindset for starters yes. and tell yourself that one the world will not come to an end if i travel for for a couple of days and number two the family is going to be fine and number two then changing the the mindset of those around because uh, i think a lot of us assume that uh, our parents in law or our husband or our kids are going to be disappointed or they're going to be upset if we travel or this or the routines are going to get uh, 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 topsy turvy but i don't think that is the case and uh, and if somebody is being difficult all the more reason why you should travel you know you shouldn't be hanging around uh, Uh, at their back and call because I agree this uh, and and they seem to have lost you are you there uh, 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 ajay uh, 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 ajay are you there uh, is yeah. hi hello yeah, yeah, can you hear me yes okay so uh, so what i was saying was that uh, i think uh, if the uh, one should uh, uh, change your own mindset and of those around you and uh, and that's where it starts and number two uh, uh, if you travel there are two very positive advantages one if you travel on your own like they say uh, distance makes the heart grow fonder so when you come back you'll come back to more loving arms back at home and uh, secondly if you take off uh, with your family whether you go just with your partner or with the kids also i think it's a good time to bond because uh, let's face it you know we say okay we are going to have fun this weekend right but when you are in town there are always all kinds of worries there are there are maid worries there are bank worries there are other stuff to be done but the moment you are off for even a day then you are lost you are away from responsibilities and that actually uh, improves the bonding with, uh, within families so i uh, and that you also come back like you said you come back refreshed and recharged uh, to take on the world and to take on uh, personal matters uh, uh, on the following monday you know people don't realize how important travel is because you know um i've had many women i've had many examples of women who are even in their 60s 
uh, there was a lady um, you know who who's jo who joined us about 3 years ago and she did a trip with us to the valley of flowers she was 65 at that time and it was first ever her soul her first ever solo trip to uh, to take you know with a group of women and that too for a trekking trip and 65 years old since then it was not it was not an easy trip for her of course because she had never tre trekked before she had never traveled solo but since then she's become a traveler she has changed so much in her attitude her personality because you know uh, travel brings about a lot of positive changes in, in in you and in your environment as well but sadly a lot of women do not like i said don't make it a priority they don't understand the importance of travel as well so if that changes of course it will bring about a lot of change secondly i feel that you know uh, because like there are a lot of there is a social structure there are there are uh, you know you have to look after your husband your children your in-laws everybody has a lot of say in this so you have to plan this in advance i know many women who make it mandatory that they have to take two trips in a year they have to take it so it's pre planned it's not as if so they they take care of the household chores they take care of their work um their husband is convinced or their families are convinced that they have to take two trips and it's planned in advance so if they can do that let's say four months in advance five months in advance that they're taking a, a you know a five days five days trip or something that yes of course weekend trips with families can happen any time impromptu etc as well but if they plan in advance i'm sure that women can take time to travel as well thirdly i feel that we indian women assume too much you know we are too much we uh, too much bothered about uh, what what the other person is going to be thinking what if i leave my child behind they have this guilt factor what if they will miss me or how can i leave my children behind my husband will not like it they assume too much they th overthink things too much it's actually not the case you know in, in fact it's the problem might be very minuscule might be very small but in our minds we make it very very large and because we, uh, we make it so large it's difficult to take a decision or, or even to uh, balance out the time or make travel a priority no, i totally i totally agree with you and uh, and that's an attitude that holds true for both uh, men and women because really? uh, i thought men sorry? assume less and they think men assume less are less complicated women are very very complicated in their heads no i no i, I think uh, 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 i think especially in the indian context uh, uh, i know a lot of my men friends they have uh, you know they always carry a little handbook of 100 excuses for not doing things to make me happy in life right yeah. so <laughs> i think that's a very standard indian thing we all need to change our mindset and yeah. uh, because we forget that uh, life is about living and not about just working and uh, putting things together at home and uh, cleaning the house and going to the bank and filing your income tax returns these are all the uh, means to an end at the end of the day we have to live and travel is an important component of living and uh, like you also said if uh, if we go out we travel it opens our mind it opens our perspectives and uh, we come back uh, uh, changed people it uh, travel has changed me a lot in the last 7 years uh, i've been traveling before also but last 7 years i've been traveling differently and uh, what i would call traveling mindfully and it has changed me and uh, Uh, and there are so many ways to travel actually because again for uh, working women uh, uh, for example if they are going on a business trip they can mm -hmm. actually very easily take some leisure time out and explore the place they are going to number 2 if their partners are going on a business trip they can always uh, take time off and go with them or join them for the weekend because or the or the partner can extend the trip uh, uh, into the weekend or the other way around and uh, you can actually explore wherever you are going it could be bombay it could be calcutta it could be madrid it could be london it could be anywhere and uh, let's face it uh, most business trips are actually to uh, out to, to buzzing cities because that's where business happens so where do where do people travel to they travel to bombay bangalore uh, calcutta within india for example they will travel to london amsterdam new york san francisco los angeles that's where they travel to right and they're all exciting cities you know i have uh, somebody a uh, very close uh, like somebody in the family in my family only and she travels to new york once in 3 weeks Wow. Once in three weeks, okay. So she's been doing that for the past three months, and I think she'll continue doing that for the next because her work is such. She'll be doing the same thing for the next uh, three, four months as well. And I asked her once when we met. I said, "Did you uh, travel around? Did you go to Las Vegas? Did you do this? Did you do that?" And she was like, "No, I work. I come back home uh, to the hotel, and uh, weekends I had. I just meet a couple of friends, and I'm not really traveled. So you know, yes, you're right. I mean, New York and." A, a paid for uh, yeah. trip, and she's not taking advantage of it. So, like, and I was actually really amazed that you know you must take out time, take that weekend, and just take a few days off and meet New York, or just explore New York. And she still hasn't done that today. Yeah, and so uh, 
Uh, and I think the best time when you go to a city to travel is either uh, 5 in the morning, 5 or 6 in the morning before your business meets start. Go out and feel the freshness of the city. Just go out and walk. Right? That's very or, good. Or, or do it after sunset, after your business meetings have ended. Right? And uh, if your business associates just want to kind of uh, let their hair down and say, okay, hey, let's go for a drink to a bar, tell them, hey, you know, you want to really let the hair down? Why don't you show me your city? Right? So instead of having, so after all, after all your business meetings,